It's been over 20 years since I lived in this beautiful community, but when we first moved here in the early 90s, it was the talk of the town, and some would even say it wore the crown for nearly two decades. Some could argue it's still one of the best areas to live in Tampa. In fact, Niche.com ranks it as the number one best suburb to live in Florida, the number four best suburb to raise a family in the state, and the number one Tampa suburb for young professionals. Residents choose to live here for its home options and top schools, but ultimately love living here because of its amazing amenities in and nearby the community. If you want to learn all about what makes this community one of the most desired areas to live in Tampa, stay tuned. Located just outside the busy city, West Chase stands out as more than just a neighborhood. It's a vibrant, established suburban community full of life and character. Picture this, tree-lined streets, charming homes, and a neighborhood with walkability. From its quaint coffee shops where locals gather for a caffeine fix to its lush parks where families picnic under the shades of old oak trees, West Chase exudes an undeniable charm that draws you in and makes you feel right at home. West Chase was not the first Tampa suburb, but it was the first of its kind. So I wanna invite Anjali, a realtor associate on my team, to share her experience from living in West Chase, along with walking us through the different neighborhoods and amenities the community offers its residents. And make sure to stick around because I'll be back to explain what's nearby, talk about the schools, and we will interview a few locals, asking them about their experiences here in West Chase. Welcome to West Chase, the neighborhood that's more varied than a box of chocolates. Each of its 28 villages offers a different flavor. And trust me, you'll want to try every bite. Some of the more notable neighborhoods include West Park Village, the Fords, the Bridges, Radcliffe and the Shires. But let's talk about West Park Village, my favorite. Now here you can catch families strolling down the sidewalks as they sip a latte, walk the dogs, or maybe get in a quick workout at the YMCA Express down there. The village has so many fun events going on. Food truck rallies, Easter egg hunt, St. Patty's Day celebrations, the Great West Chase. Get it? West Chase? It's a nationally certified race that's run for charity. Okay, back to the villages now. The next up is the Fords with its friendly streets echoing the sounds of kids playing and chatting as they walk to their school, which is just a stone's throw away. It's the kind of place where families come and plant their roots. But if you're more the luxe living kind, the Greens is the place for you. Gated entrances, sprawling lawns, and the kind of views that make every morning feel like a fresh start. I could go on and on about the villages, but you get the picture. What I love about West Chase is that it isn't a one-size-fits-all neighborhood. It caters to a wide variety of budgets and lifestyles, offering everything from modest townhomes to expansive single-family residences. Starting in the 300,000 townhomes and condos in West Chase offer an affordable entry point into this coveted community and are ideal for individuals or small families seeking a low-maintenance lifestyle. The majority of housing in West Chase consists of single-family homes with prices typically ranging from the 400,000s to over a million. Homes at the higher end of this range often include luxury finishes, larger lots, custom designs, private pools, and premier locations near water and conservation areas. For those seeking the pinnacle of suburban luxury, West Chase boasts a selection of high-end estates, particularly in gated sub-communities. Living here is about the lifestyle, with community events, parks, trails, those aerated schools, and my favorite part, it's super dog-friendly. Beyond the diverse housing options, West Chase offers a lifestyle filled with energy and community spirit. Residents here are big on fitness and enjoy access to two parks, two swimming pools, and rec facilities including golf courses, tennis courts, etc. The two parks in West Chase are Bay Bridge and Glencliff Park. Now both have pavilions with electricity and water hookups for birthday parties or picnics, but Glencliff Park also has a basketball court, a soccer field, and many a time I've caught a game of cricket here. I've never seen this place empty. It's always bustling with life. In fact, when I first moved to Tampa, I lived here and it was at Glencliff Park that I made my first friends in Tampa. My daughter used to go and swim at the community swimming facilities, which includes heated and cool pools, lap lanes, shaded toddler pools, and their very own swim team. They also have tennis courts, 
which are available for recreational play, league play and lessons. The Swim and Tennis Club also hosts after-school programs, making them great for families and individuals looking to stay active and engaged. Gotta give a shout out to West Chase Community Association that actively fosters a sense of community through events, clubs and activities designed to engage residents of all ages. Living in West Chase is about embracing a certain kind of lifestyle. It's not just about the house, it's about the community, the events, the parks and the trails. It's about top-notch schools for the kiddos, golfing on the weekends and tennis matches that turn neighbors into lifelong friends. And the cherry on top? West Chase's location is unbeatable. Downtown Tampa, the airport, and the beaches are all within reach. It's like being on a permanent vacation. So for me, you know, when we lived in West Chase, mm -hmm. probably 25 plus years ago, right, as a teenager, I learned how to play golf at the West Chase Golf Course. And then- oh, you're a golfer? No, not at all. But I learned how to play <laughs> golf, what I thought was golf back then. Uh -huh. But the beauty of it was, you know, I had fun as a teenager. We played golf. I probably got the golf cart stuck in the pond. But now, as an adult, mm -hmm. right, I come back often because my daughter's five and nine and they always have birthday parties at the parks and the bounce houses and the cotton candy and they, you know, it just kind of brings us back here. So we get to experience again as an adult, but you can see kids everywhere. I just, it's a whole I just different love that. thing, right? Coming back as an adult. 100%. <laughs> well, this was the first place I moved to when I moved to Tampa. Okay. And we lived in West Chase and we used to go down to Glencliff Park and I would get my camera out and I had so many thousands of pictures of all the birds and the deer and all the wildlife you see here. And my daughter, of course, loved, absolutely loved Lowry. She went to Lowry School here. Yep. And we lived right around the corner from that. Yeah. And Glencliff Park, we were there every evening. It was so much fun. This place will always hold a really special place in my heart. Absolutely, there's some, some good memories here. Another question we often get is if the golf course is included in the HOA within the community. West Chase Golf Club is a public course, so no, it's not included in the HOA, but that also means you don't have to pay if you aren't much of a golfer. Access to the two swim and tennis centers, however, are included. If schooling is important to you and you have school-age kids with you moving to West Chase, you have a lot of good options both on the private and public side. On the public side, you've got West Chase Elementary and Deer Park Elementary, Davidson and Farnell Middle, and Alonzo High School. Many families move here for the A-rated schools, but we always suggest you schedule a tour of the school to see if it's a good fit for you. With great housing options, community amenities, and A-rated schools, many people forget to check out the surrounding areas for shopping, dining, and entertainment needs, but not to worry. West Chase has you covered here as well. West Chase is only about 15 minutes to the airport, around 25 minutes to downtown Tampa, and under 40 minutes to our famous Clearwater Beach. If you're a shopaholic at heart, you'll be happy to hear that there are three malls nearby, the Citrus Park Town Center, the International Mall, and the West Shore Mall. You have easy access to restaurants right at your fingertips at the West Chase Village, but if you want to venture out of the bubble, there are restaurants in all directions within a short drive. All right, man, so we're shooting a video about West Chase. Just wanted to stop a couple people, uh, you know, stopped you over here where the shops are. Uh, what brought you down here? Every morning, we usually come down here, grab a cup of coffee at Grind, start our day, do some work. All right, kind of the morning routine there yeah, for you? Yeah, basically. You live in West Chase, right? Yes, yes. What do you like about it? What brought you here? What brought us to West Chase was obviously it's very convenient. It's full of restaurants, mm -hmm. shops, coffee shops, amazing coffee shops. Um, and it's, I feel like it has a, it has all the conveniences of a bigger city, but it's just condensed in this small neighborhood. So you get this quaint, uh, just very quaint family oriented, um, small neighborhood feel with a lot of amenities. As far as entertainment, well, you have easy access to the city for everything you could want, but let me let you on a fun local place. If you follow the road out of the community to Racetrack Road, you'll find the Tampa Bay Downs that dates back to 1926. They have live horse racing and poker, and here's the crazy part. In true Tampa fashion, it's absolutely kid-friendly, and my kids love it. The races are every 20 minutes, and my kids love picking a number and seeing whose horse wins. Back in the early 90s, my family and I came to West Chase and built a home that served us for many years. And from the sound of it, Anjali also created warm memories with her family here. For many of you looking for a great place to raise a family or to have a sense of community, maybe you're an avid golfer or someone that wants a community that feels safe and offers walkability. Well, West Chase may be your answer. And so if you're looking to make West Chase home or really anywhere in Tampa, we would love to be your realtor of choice. 
reach out to my team and we would be happy to help you and your family find your next home. So until that next video, I'll catch you later.